Hello, and today I'm taking a look at Maisel. This is an AI agent that you can basically use as an employee within your business to help you with decision making after you train it up and put it into a workflow. There's a few different tiers. I'll put an affiliate link down below. And thanks to AppSumo for providing me with tier one to check out. And this is going to give me one AI agent to play with. Uh, it's got a decent sized knowledge base, but I don't have access to the premium apps. If you want multiple agents and the premium apps, and I'll show you which apps those are in a second, you'll need to go to tier three. But let's head over and let me show you how quick and easy this looks like it is to get started. So when you first land in the app and you get your account set up, this is what you see. It's a couple of videos well worth watching because they'll explain exactly how to get started and how easy it is to get started. So I'm going to create my AI agent. So I only have one on tier one. So use it wisely. And you can either have a conversational agent or a data intelligence agent. I'm going to go with the conversational agent. I'll just put, uh, call it, give it a name, just call it agent. So any knowledge source. So this is the powerful part. This is where you can train the agent up like a member of staff. You can feed it all your pricing information, your website information, your terms and conditions, all that kind of stuff. Uh, you could dump a PDF or Word document in. So if you've got training manuals, just upload those. You can paste direct text in. But in this instance, I'm just going to use the pricing page of my website. So agent personality, choose wisely. <laughs> you can do a general, custom support, sales consultant, coding assistant. There's quite a few different types here. I'm going to go just with general. And then you have instructions. These are editable. So the role and constraints. So that's great. They've already put those in. If you want to make modifications, you can do so. Public description if you want. And then let's say create the new generic agent. So here's my agents. And it's always worth doing a test on something that you can check to make sure it's understood correctly. I've just told it I've got a marketing budget of six and five month. What plan is best for me? And this is testing that it's learned about the pricing page I gave it. And so you can see based on six and five, organic brand builder, which is 600 per month, which is correct. And then it's listing the details, which is great. So the AI agent is one part of this platform. The other part is automate. So the platform is built on active pieces. And the difference being that the AI agent can be part of your automated flows. So you see, I've been having a little mess around with them. You've got a few options. If you create a flow that will start from scratch, blank canvas, off you go. There's a range of templates for you to take a look at. It tells you what uh, pieces are in there. You just click on that and you can edit away. Or if you're new to all this and you're not really sure which elements to use, you can use the Copilot. And that's an AI workflow creator. So it's got some instructions here. So you know, make sure you give it a trigger. So for example, someone fills out a form, then do this action. And if you need some examples, they've got some examples here. Otherwise you just type your custom prompt in and click a button and it will try and create it for you. So if I just open a flow that I've been experimenting with, so this is a super simple flow and you could achieve this without the agents because it's a simple flow, but I just want to kind of demonstrate what I'm talking about. So uh, a web form. Now I've just used a human input form to test this, but this could be a, a Google form or some other way that you are collecting information that you can get into here. So we'll collect that information. And for this form, I've just got like name, uh, website, and the budget. And then the agent was trained up on the plans that uh, my company offers. So the prompt I'm going to use is find out which plan will be best for a business with a budget of, and then this indicates that it's a merge field from the web form. And then I'm going to ask it to write an email to the person's name who has a budget of, budget, and uh, give the recommendation. And there's a little bit more in there on the output because I want it in a certain format. I want it in a JSON format because then I can convert it to text. I'm told that they're working on a system where this element won't be needed, but basically that takes a raw output. So the raw output here, you can see its title and body and it converts it into text. So that we now have subject and body. And then that means I can drop it into an email as subject is here is subject and then the body. I should collect email address as well. I haven't done on this test form and that would then allow me to send uh, an email. So when someone fills this out, this would run 
decide on the right option and can send an email. Super simple flow. Of course, you could have human input. You, if I just click on these, you'll see huge amount of options here. So we've got Gmail, Sheets, Slack. You've got webhooks, approval. So you might want an approval step to review the email before it goes out. Subflow, codes, connections, CSVs. There's absolutely loads. Active campaign, Afori needs renaming now. Uh, AI table, Amazon, Apollo. I mean, look at all this. I'm not going to read it all out because there's just so many. And so this works as a connection tool like these other tools, like Zapier. It's obviously built on active pieces, make, all that kind of stuff. But the one thing that they don't have, as far as I'm aware, and what sets this apart, is the ability to have an AI agent that's trained up in the knowledge you want it to be. And so it can interact with the flow, knowing what you know, and then spitting out things like emails or documents or whatever you want. This is super simple, but honestly, I'm sure smarter people than me can come up with super complicated flows that when something happens, it does all this and spits out some amazing results. So there's this little help bubble down here. I will say uh, <laughs> I've run into a few issues, but the team have been brilliant. They've been very responsive in getting it sorted. And they even jumped on a call with me, which was, which was really nice. They took a look at my flow because you can share the flows. If we share it as a template, it generates a link. And so you can share that link with other people or in my case, support. They took a look at it and they actually helped me understand how better to format it. So if you are struggling, do reach out to them. They're very involved, very engaged. It may take a little while to get back to you because right now I know they are getting swamped with people joining and asking questions, uh, but they jumped on a call. We spent a good 15, 20 minutes talking through how this all works and I gained a much better understanding of it. So if you want to check this out, go and click the link below. It's an affiliate link. Clicking that supports me and the channel.